talk about fathers, fathers, having a father. I may not necessarily be talking about biological father, I'm talking about a father that is, that is role models, mentors, people who are fathers. You see, the shortcut to early grave is when you start pointing fingers at the fathers. The, the easiest way to exit planet Earth on time, before your time, is to point accusation finger at your father. And it could even be your biological father, not just somebody you call your spiritual father or somebody you call your, your role model in politics, your role model in, in within your craft. If you want to do well in life, leave the fathers alone. If you don't understand why they take certain decisions, please don't criticize. It is even dangerous to criticize something you do not know. Anything you cannot explain, don't try to talk about it. A, a lot of people just talk and insult fathers who have laid their life for what we are enjoying today. I'm not, I don't even know the father that is perfect and the one that is not perfect. That's not my business. There's a grace on their life that we should go after. We live in a generation that kills their father and woe to the generation that kills their father. If you are good at criticizing the fathers, you can never be a father. Even if you have 20 children, you are still not a father. Please let us not start what we cannot finish a young man of 30 years is criticizing a father of 65 years like seriously and you expect to get to 65 it doesn't work that way what you disrespect you cannot attract so please young men in my capacity in my age my generation let's watch our tongue a few years ago the holy spirit told me he said, if you want to live long, keep your tongue. And I'm saying the same thing that the Holy Spirit said to me. If you want to live long, keep your tongue. The last person you want to step on their toes or on his toes, or he is the father, so a father. You don't do that. If you want to be a father, respect.